You're right people, Chaos here with a quick video of how the actual squad setup has changed between Dawn of War 2 and Chaos Rising to Retribution. So let's go over to the inventory screen. Obviously we've got the available forces so if you've seen my previous episode you'll see that we actually unlock these through game now to have along our main characters. But see here now, the point scheme is different. So obviously we don't have that little bar set up anymore. We unlock actual traits to use. So what I want to do is have the battle cry ability. So when he screams out, it basically makes uh, damage output to nearby allies really, really strong. Now, I want to obviously get this, uh, I want him to be a melee tank. So obviously this one here increases rate of fire. If equipped with melee, he carves through multiple targets, which is brilliant. But I've got some gear here that you un actually unlock by doing the um, Chaos Rising campaign and with certain DLCs. So let's equip this two-handed power axe, which just looks like a freaking behemoth. Look at it just immense and let's equip this a martyr so obviously it has regeneration to nearby allies all that lot so now he looks even more hench with this armor and on taking damage lowers ability recharge so you want that and let's see about this helm of the champion so it increases health and armor rating look he doesn't look like diamonds anymore but he's got his helmet back from the original let's play so let's go over to martellus now martellus i want him to be oh i am not 100 percent sure i think or oh, i'm gonna go well because i need him to be able to like upgrade tanks and things like that and flamer should i give him a flamer We'll see about that. Let's give him the master crafted power armor and keep it there like that. The ancient, oh, he needs to be level two. That's a pain, but I'm gonna give him the stimulation kit because as I said, I want him to be our tank. So it is a surprise. I am so gonna be going the health route. And then we got Cyrus which I want to be sniper power so it increases rate of fire with a beast of a sniper rifle so let's um, we can't equip yeah he needs a devastator ability so that may be the next one so he can have a heavy weapon but as you can see here it shows the skills so instead of before you go up like five points and you get a skill you actually unlock skills each time which is very very useful but you can still scrap gear to gain experience so I hope this has been useful because obviously as I said you go through missions and you get options to unlock um, up unlock the troops but also unlock upgrades for them so next video we're gonna be going over the next mission which will be the temple ruins so you all take care of yourselves Chaos out. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you want to see the other videos in the playlist, you got the left hand option. If you want to see the content that I have on my channel, you then have that middle option there. And if you'd like to join the chaotic crew, please don't be afraid to click that button on the right hand side. You're more than welcome.